Hi everyone, welcome back. It's crafty days. I'm glad you're here. I started the last video out. We made this background. And I'll just let you know once again, it's Follow the Rainbows by Simon Says Stamp Stamp Set. And I've already um, picked out my markers. I'm going to change my green out probably and find a purple. There's purple. Um, got my gel pen out, my colors for the skin for the legs. And I have my VersaFine ink out. I put Nouveau Drops on um, some of my backgrounds that I made. I'll show you that. This gives you a little bit of dimension on there. It'll shine, and I'll probably do that on the end of these so I don't get um, my hands in them because, of course, that's what I do. Um, like I said, pick these out, and I'll show you what we're going to do. We're going to do paper piecing. In case I say paper, said paper piercing, but it's good. They're going to look along the lines of these. Kind of bright and shiny, hopefully. Sunshiny, maybe. Um, okay, first thing we're going to do is get out our stamp positioner. And I'm not going to need a whole lot of paper, so I picked out a scrap that um, <clears throat> will work for this. And let's go ahead and make sure that's going to fit on there. And it is. I basically only need this much of it, though. So I'm just going to try to ink that part up. Maybe actually I'll move this up a little. Since I don't need the legs, there's no sense in wasting, uh, wasting that. My magnets want to stick to me. Or snap my fingers in them, I should say. I must move that down just a tad a little short for the skirt. All right, ink that up with VersaFine because I'm not going to color this, this in so it's not going to matter which ink I use. I'm going to go ahead and we'll just ink down to the skirt there. If it goes a little lower, it doesn't matter. Alrighty. Put that on there. Good. And then I'm going to take that out and we'll go ahead and do the purple one. Just that way I don't have to get this back out. Um, out there. And I didn't want two wild patterns for this. I really wanted a um, kind of a wild umbrella and then a more subdued skirt so that it's not all different patterns everywhere but just kind of a simple pattern for the skirt and for one of the umbrellas. So. All right, put my ink away because I don't think I'll need that again. And then what I'm going to do, I am bad with these magnets lately. They keep snapping my fingers. All right, let's set those separate. Go ahead and get some of the ink off of there. Doesn't have to be perfectly clean because I'll probably use it again. All right, I'm going to take out my little pair of uh, EK scissors and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut on the lines of these Oops. almost didn't because I want to use that bottom half for the skirt um, I'm just gonna make sure that I don't you know cut anything really off that's why I'm kind of doing it right on the line doesn't have to be perfect perfect but you don't want it too small either, so just do your best fussy cutting. And the one good thing about this is it's a very simple image, so it doesn't require too much intricate, you know, cutting. So I like to work with the smaller pieces if I can. Alrighty, and I'll go ahead and cut the skirt. And I'm going to do that with both 
cards because I'll just make two of them at the same time since I have a skirt and a, an umbrella. So. And if you want to also, you can take a black marker and go along these edges, but I'm really not that concerned about it with this one. All right, let's get rid of that. And we'll pull out the other one. And I'm just gonna do the same with that. Just cut right on there if I can, okay. Now, like I said, I'm gonna cut that skirt off just cause it's easier for me to work with a smaller piece. And I will probably do the same <laughs> once I get down to this corner. I'll just cut straight across. And I'll save that for something else that's big enough for either another umbrella or maybe another couple skirts, kind of whatever. May not even use it for this, so. All right, umbrella, oopsie. I was gonna say it's done, but I didn't start in the same place as I did last time, so. Okay, two umbrellas cut, and then I've got this piece too. And just cut her little skirt. I'll probably do this skirt belt in maybe a yellow. I just need something that's got more orange because there's orange here, so that will cover up the stripes through the belt. So I hope you guys can all hear me okay. The last video, um, I was told it was, I was a little quiet. I think it might have been my music, but I usually have videos going while I'm crafting. So, okay, so now we'll, we'll put those two together. Pretty cute. Okay, so we'll get this out and I'm going to get my tape out. Um, I have a big blue roll of tape that uh, craft, Call Me Crafty Owl has on hers. See how thick that is? It's wide, not thick, I should say. But I'll cut some of that for the backs of these. Actually, let's move those up kind of out of the way a little bit. All right, we'll bring the umbrellas here. And I'll we'll just start cutting some tape. wide tape on here and I've got a thinner one too which I'll probably use some too but this will do a pretty good job right through the middle boy that glass mat's loud underneath this isn't it and I'm just gonna cut a piece kind of in half oh I'm glad that didn't stick put one on each one of those I think that should be good enough. And the skirt I'm gonna do flat, so we should be good with that. If you guys do wanna know where to get this tape, you can go to uh, my sister's channel, Call Me Crafty Owl, and she has in all of her videos in the description, her link to her Amazon store. She just gets a little credit for that. It doesn't cost you any extra. So you can always go there and she does use that in a lot of her videos too so there is a lot of static in this tape I'll tell you okay so it's sticking. okay now we'll go ahead and put these on Bird it up a little higher okay This one on. Okay. Good, good. And that just gives it a you know a little dimension on there. Alrighty. And then we'll go ahead and I use uh Lish also has this in her store, art glitter glue for Amazon. 
and they have these fine tips on them. They're great. This isn't very dainty or whatever, but if you're doing something more intricate, it's great for that. So, whoopsie, about drop that. Okay, this one will go on this one, and I'm probably going to do a white belt on this one. That's why I got out my gel pen. You can move that just a little. So one good thing about that liquid glue is you can move it a little bit if need be. And like I say, I'm not real precise with this stuff, but hopefully it turns out okay. Okay. Oh, I like those. So let's get the gel pen. Hoping you guys can hear me okay. And we're gonna paint in or color in that belt. We're gonna make it white. If this were in brown, it'd remind me of uh, Pretty Woman, Julia Roberts in the brown dress. And since this is a darker, a darker umbrella, we can probably do some highlights yeah in this just to give it a little dimension too and let's say the highlights are gonna be on that side and probably here and we can also do that middle white okay and I think we'll do that belt orange and that is YR4. I just want a color that will cover. I'll probably do a couple coats of this. It will just cover that yellow easy and the orange you can kind of see. But I think that looks okay. And I guess we'll go ahead and just color her heels orange because that's the color of her belt. Alrighty. And we'll do purple for these. It's a little dark, so I'll probably put some highlights on that. I'm not sure how much you're going to be able to see on the orange. Get my marker working. Or my pen. Okay. There we go. Kind of do some highlights on that belt. And I think I'll do some highlights on this skirt. Okay. And on her shoes. Just at the top, just to give them a little dimension. I'm not going to do too much coloring because those are awfully small. So. Then I'm going to use E01 for her skin on her legs. Okay, and E02 is the next. That's for the shadow, and I'll do that on both, both pairs of legs. So underneath the skirt and kind of above the shoes, and then I'll put a little on her knees and then I'll go back to E1 or zero 01. I don't know if that makes a difference for you. I'm just gonna pull that out just a little bit so it doesn't look too dark. There we go. You can see a little bit of highlight there on her leg. We'll do the same over here. Okay. And E02 back out. Pulling some of that up with the E01 just to. Alrighty. 
Also, you could put some other white drops on there if you wanted to um, with your gel pen. If you wanted to put some little other drops, but I probably won't do that. But there you go. Um, I'll let you know one more time. Simon says stamp. Follow the rainbows is the stamp set. And the paper is from Tailored Expressions. And, oh, here it is. And that is Rainbow Brights. Copic Markers E01, E02, Slingo Uniball Gel Pen, and V17 for the purple, and YR4 for the orange. It was great having you back. It's great to be back. Until next time, stay safe and take care.